Intermediate Championship Final, John Osborne up ready for the toss, and Willie Crawley, the other captain, coming into picture now. Very blustery day here in Bellingham. Attention, please. Here is the list of fixtures for the coming two weeks. Both chapters exchange ratings. Menorah and Shields in semi final at Knock Bridge at 2 o'clock. Both the coin. The Ballantown Edges. On Sunday, the fourth. And Mahoney's win the toss. The Kenyan and Shields. The Rana Pops Cup semi-final at 11.30. Some dog brass band lead the way for the parade. And away they go. <laughs> Look at some of the players. Great and determination written all over. And the supporters, of course. As the band comes towards us, I'll just read out the teams. A number of changes. Sean O'Mahony's and goals is Brendan Mucky and two is Pascal Sage, three Martin Connolly, four Barry O'Brien, five Wayne Callan, six Jerry Hamill, seven is Colin McConville. Eight is Willie Crawley, he's accompanied at midfield by Anthony Mackin. Here where the changes come in, John McKeever now goes at number 10, Stephen Mohan is on the 40 and Cahill Douglas is number 12. Paul Halligan comes in at number 13, Stephen Fergus is full forward and Martin O'Brien is on the other corner. Neil Finn Barra. number of changes here and positional wise, Mark Marley now comes into goals. And uh, Andrew Rogers, who was selected originally at goals, now goes centre half. And the team is Mark Marley, number one. Slight wind adjustment here. David Woods now is at number two. Sean Keenan is at full back. Thomas Butterley is at number four. Mick Chan wears number five. Sean Keenan is being replaced at centre half by Andrew Rogers. And Paul Nevin is at number seven. Owing to the tragic death of little Lisa Fergus from Hyde Park, just a notice country, we would not like everybody to stand for a one minute silence as on from now. And a minute silence for the tragic. <coughs> Thank you very much for your attention to the. A minute silence observed, and I'll get back to the team. John Osborne is at midfield with Gerald Devlin, Mark Devlin, number 10. And on the 40 now is going to be Brendan Rogers. Gordon Woods is at number 12. Vincent Osborne 13. Pat Han 14. And Stephen Devlin is at 15. As we listen to our own Aveen. set as you can hear by the hitters. A list of substitutes here I've got. Nathan Banner, Declan Murray, Martin Bourne, Seamus Fanning, Willie Shevlin, Damien Hannerty, Brendan O'Friel, Adrian Woods, Vincent Sharkey, Jimmy Bourne. So the stage is set for this Lud Cup replay final. Winners go senior. Kevin Levin's referee checks round and up the ball goes. 
Plenty of excitement that rushed through Finbar, of course, to touch it. And a three. And then Rogers fouled. Three for O'Mahony. Wind blowing right across the field. If anything, favouring the team playing from left to right. John Osborne with a three. With 40 metres out. Stiff kick. Referee having a few words in there. Showing his authority early on in this game. And the wind whistles round. Plenty of boos and ahs in the crowd. As John Osborne comes up to take this one. John takes it. Good one going to the left. And just gone wide for the first wide of the game. Feature of this game, I suppose, is going to be the absence of Brendan O'Callaghan, who had a tremendous game in the first leg. How will his team control? And this time, O'Mahony under pressure as John Osborne comes through. Nicely broken up by Anto Mackin. Anto, the army man, tips it over the far side, but plays broken up there by Mark Devlin. Mark gets it missed in. Judge to have fouled it. Three for O'Mahony. Three for O'Mahony. The views and the boos of some of the crowd. Kicked in over the far side. Nicely held. Over the line. Nine ball. Line ball for O'Mahony's. Actually going to throw it up. Broken down. Coming to you. Finbar kick it up. Nicely broken down as they come in the challenge now. McCann gets his challenge in the far side to Gerald Devlin. Gerald kicks it. Waste for ball, but gets it there. Good kick in the far side. Great chance here, and it's gone a begging over towards the left and wide. So anxious moments there in the area, and it's a free out. Good chance going there for Neil Finbar. Gone to ace. Marley kicks out. When the Mukin kicks out in towards the centre. Open down by Willie Crawley. Chance here now for O'Mahon. He's to come under pressure. Put me on the move here on the stand side. Kicked. And the first score of the game. For O'Mahon. Scored by Cal Douglas. One point to nil. O'Mahon is lead with a first serious challenge. After about five minutes of play in the first half. out now and towards the center rock of players there breaking free Brendan Rogers kicks it nicely held in there Colin McConville gets his kick in nicely kicked for Barry O'Brien again O'Mahon is putting on the pressure Cahill Douglas back Martin O'Brien Chance here for the 40 yard man, Stephen Mohan. Stephen Mohan on the ground, trying to get his kick in. Back to Cahill Douglas. Been tackled heavily. Three for O'Mahony's. One point to nil the lead. And this intermediate. Good cup final. So another chance here for O'Mahony's. Good kick in, just goes to the right. Paul Halligan. So early signs that it's going to be as good a counter as the last day. Plenty of excitement buzzing around the areas for this one. Kicked out again in towards the centre, Andrew Mackin lets it go. Mahoney's under pressure now. 
That's over the line, nine ball. Right in front of us. Adam McConville gets a kick in over towards the left hand side. Been pulled on there is John McKeever. Gets it out over the far side. Wayne Challen. Wayne gets his kick in. So Paul Halligan. Paul Halligan's got a great chance here. And he hits the upright. When it looked certain that the net was going to be taken out of it. But it's nicely retrieved there. And they've got the point from Martin O'Brien. Martin on the corner today. Two points to nil. O'Mahony's lead. All urgency now coming from the O'Mahony side. Points to nil, about seven minutes of play gone. George, George, George. Mark, 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 push him, push him. Mark Marley now with this kick out. Mark change and goalkeeper. Kicks it out. John broken down in the centre. Gerald Devlin. Gordon Woods can't hold on to it. Picked up towards the 40 yards, and again, urgency at the back from Wayne Callan, puts it out over the line, good tackling from Wayne. Not allowing Mark Devlin to touch it. They've got a line ball here now, Gerald Devlin, Gerald kicks it. Dropping down in towards the small area, nicely held in there, chance for a pin bar. Chance for the toker men, but broken up again, good defence. Good defensive work, and a clash there from Colin McConville gets the free. A dangerous tackle. <laughs> Nicely kicked in by McConville there and towards the centre. Free there on Billy Crawley. Referee spots it on the on the move straight away. Free now, referee calls for assistance. Wind, I suppose, would be favouring them down to the right hand side as we look. Kicked in over towards the right hand side. Martin O'Brien goes up for it, can't hold it. Out off the Finn Bars man, line ball for O'Mahony's. Misunderstanding there. <laughs> Chance here now again for Paul Halligan on the right hand side. Kicks it right across the goals into a dangerous area. In bars break it out. But Gordon Wood. Referee gives the free. Free for O'Mahony. Another chance for Paul Halligan here. Hey, hey, no. Chance again now for Paul Halligan. Takes it to the right this time and goes wide. So still two points to nil, O'Mahony stage. As the wind whistles round us. Ball kicked out in towards the centre, fits it on by Andrew Mackin. Chance here for Charles Douglas. Cahill onto the right hand side, kicks away up in the air. This one's dropping down. Nicely held in there and falls to the ground. Referees round. Ball kicked out. Been pulled on unceremoniously. Now Mahoney's came again on the far. Oh, and just whistles over the bar. A good score there. 
from a very acute angle. Three points to nil over Henny's Dean. Familiar signs of the last game when they had a big lead as well. Whittled out of it by Inbarris, who came back like Trojans. That was a good score. Three points to nil the lead. Kicked out. And towards the centre again, O'Mahony's win it. Good one there from John McKeever. Puts Colin McConville on his bike. Colin McConville puts, well, the judge have fouled it. A bit too quick there. Colin says no, referee says he did. Broken down in towards the centre now, chance here. Mark Devlin gets the free. Off in bars. John Osborne to take this one. And this bitterly cold day here in Chapman Bellingham. Three points to nil is the scoreline for O'Mahony's. Again, they have it over towards the far side. So Mackin gets his fist in. Mackin's coming to attack again. John Keenan's beaten by the hop. They've got a chance here. Stephen Fergus fists it on in. And he puts it wide. Paul Halligan. Good chance there. Pull back completely, Mr. Hop. Well, 16 minutes gone in this first half. Three points nil, O'Mahony's lead. out again and not a great one. Cahill Douglas has it. Cahill screws this one to the left hand side. Again Sean Douglas. Sean Chin in a bit of trouble. Out over the far side. Cleared by Woods. Both men try and mount a challenge now. Brendan Rogers kicks his, gets his kick in. Stall. Linesman puts the flag up. Line ball for O'Mahony's. Kicked in towards the 40 yard man. Andrew Rogers tries to win the day and a tackle there. David Wood. On to Paul Halligan. Andrew Rogers actually is the man that's been spoken to. Referee says the other way. Severe reprimand there for Andrew Rogers. Andrew in goals in the last game now finds himself at centre half. And another banger goes off in the crowd and the stand underneath us. Yet to warm up on the pitch. Still, they've been spoken to by Kevin Levins. <laughs> Referee going to hop it. Throw it up. Three points to nil for O'Mahony's. Quick on to the ball, they've got a chance here. Stephen Mohan and a good interception. But Cahill Douglas, Paul Halligan on the far side, kicks it in nicely off the goalkeeper, done well. This time he's got no answer and the ball is in the net. O'Mahony's have scored the goal. 
One goal and three points for O'Mahony's. No score for Finbar. Shouts of a square ball. The goal has been given. So it's 1 3 for O'Mahony's. A six point lead once more. They have. Osborne has it now, falls to the ground. Kicked in. Gordon Woods has it. Sorry, it was Mark Devlin. Gets his kick in, drop down. Chance here, but away to the left it goes. And Brendan Rogers. So it's 1 3 to no score. About 19 minutes gone in this first half. Ball kicked out. Okerman under severe pressure now. One goal and three points to deficit. As they try and launch a challenge with Paul Nevin, pushed off the ball, gets the free right in front of the referee. Taken shortly, back to Rogers. Gets his kick down towards the left-hand side. Slow to react there. Slow to react there with Stephen Devlin. Ball kicked in now towards the centre. Still not getting the act together. Determined walk at the back by Wayne Callan. Kicked in towards the centre, but nicely intercepted. Mahoney's come away again. Trying to walk it up. John Osborne's there to retrieve the situation. Good walk at the back there from Barry O'Brien. That got the Mahoney's going. Slipping players falling all over the place at the moment. Now, Invara try and settle it down. Gets the kick in, a chance here. And it's gone to the left. Oh, 45. Good work by the keeper. And then Muckin. As we can kick that one in. And Stephen Devlin and the keeper was good to move off the line. So John Osborne with the kick. This one, good kick. And curls in nicely. A good score from John Osborne from the 45 metre line. And the Hoofers go up from that. Finn Barris get their first score. With about 20 minutes gone in this first half, it's one goal and three points. The Sean O'Mahony's one point for A. Finn Barra. John Osborne the scorer. From that 45. And then Muckin with the kick. Goodwin in towards the centre. John Osborne can't hold it. Mark Devlin. Mark gets it back to John Osborne. In towards Gordon Woods. Gordon gets a chance out towards the far side. Still Gordon Woods gets it back. And the referee gives a free for challenging and tackling with the ball. Charging with the ball. Willie Crowley gets his kick in down towards the left-hand side. Trying to get Paul Halligan going. On the 40 yard man running on for Stephen Mohan. Stephen checks round. Tackle there from the back. Player challenges the referee. Over towards the far side. Cahill Douglas. Cahill gets his kick in. Dangerous looking one. Sweeps right across the goals. Martin O'Brien keeps it in play. Martin now in a chance for Mahoney's. Off it goes. But this time it goes to the right and wide. Score looks there from there. Willie Crawley disgusted out of the centre of the field with that miss. But they've got a five point lead. One goal and three. The one point for the Finbars. In towards the centre, a rock of players miss it, miss out. Arthur Douglas gets his chance into Anthony, Anthony Mackin. Anto gets his kick in towards the right hand side. 
Even Fergus couldn't hold on to it. Sun in his eyes. Yes, I said, Sun. We've got a bit of sun. All right. Not much heat, I would say. As over the line it goes. And a severe challenge there. Falls to the ground very awkwardly, but he's up on his feet again. Stephen Devlin. Big crowd here again today for this. Blood Cup. And dear support from both sides. Colin McConville gets a great kick in towards the left hand side. Nicely held there by John McKeever. And just goes to the right and wide. Nicely held there by John McKeever. John replacing Brendan Callahan, who was originally selected at 10. With five minutes to go in this first half. Ball kicked out, it's not a great one, but Paul Nevin under pressure straight away. Gets his kick in. Locked down. Mahoney's coming back again. Willie Crowley tries to get the work going on the left hand side. Stephen Fergus. Stephen has it. Turns round. Stephen gets a low one in. Martin O'Brien comes out for it. Tries to pick it up. Just can't lift it there. And John Keenan gets his challenge out to John Osborne. John. Up along the left hand side, a chance here, but it's too hot to handle for Stephen Devlin. Just can't do it. <laughs> Things not going Stephen's way at the moment. Nine ball for O'Mahony's, O'Mahony's king. Five point lead. Stahl Douglas racing on after this one. John McKeever over towards the corner, just slightly out of my view at the moment. And this time it's over the line. Line ball for O'Mahony's. Ball not sufficiently cleared by Thomas Butterley. And Willie Crawley says, leave this one for me. Well, he looks as if he's going to take this one out of the hands. Takes a short one, trying to walk it up to Cahill Douglas. Cahill, amazed that no one's coming towards him, gets a kick in. A good kick it is. High one dropping down dangerously. Chance here for John McKeever. John lashes it back towards Willie. Willie Crawley. The ever keen Willie, ever vigilant into Cahill Douglas. Cahill. Up it goes. Screws off his boot slightly. Coming back down. Chance here for Wayne Callan. Kick blocked down nicely. Paul Halligan now over towards the left hand side. Good kick from Paul, but this one's gone to the left and wide. Substitute coming on for Finn Barr. Stephen Devlin being replaced. Damien Hand, I think it is, that's come on. Ball now kicked out over towards the right hand side. Mark Devlin. Been saddled there by Wayne Callan. So Damien Hand, the substitute, originally selected on the 40, but now starts and finds himself on the corner, and he comes out for this one, trying to get his first touch. Falls to the ground. Harsh taxing going in there, right in front of the referee. And he calls for the ball here. Damien Hand only on the field, finds himself in hot water here. And referee standing for no nonsense here. Telling the player to get back on his feet. And to Mack and the player involved. Maybe a bit of overreacting. Off it goes. It's a minute's breakdown towards this first half. At two and a half to three minutes.